Gemini. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. Today I'll be doing your upcoming weekly tarot reading. This is going to be for roughly October 11th through the 17th. So the way I'm going to do this is I'll lay out a few cards to get an idea of the general energy happening for you this week. I'll put up a photo of those cards as well, Gemini. And then what I will do is go in with you and clarify each of those energies by pulling two additional cards. So before we get started, let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I like to do that here with you on camera. It helps me tune into your energies. And then let's see what the tarot has to say for you this week. This is going to be for Gemini, October 11th through the 17th. If you come before the 11th, if you come after the 17th, honestly, as long as these messages resonate, then trust that they are for you. That's really all that's important. I don't make anything fit, but if it fits, then it's for you. All right, Gemini, three more shuffles here and let's get started. See what's happening for you. All right, last one. What's going on for Gemini at the bottom? Nine of cups, beautiful. Blessings coming your way. All right, the situation this week, challenging you, all right. Where's your mind at? Your approach when it comes to this, any external influences or people that may be affecting this, and then the near future outcome, what is coming towards you. All right, Gemini, we got a lot of fire here this week. Whew. The situation this week is the moon. The moon really is about the subconscious coming to the surface, but I am gonna say this week that things may not be totally as they appear with that moon energy, but we will go in and clarify it because that is really ultimately what the moon teaches us. Trying to find the truth in the middle of illusions, in the middle of our own subconscious, throwing things our way and we have to decide which one's real, which one's not. Is that a fear? Is that an insecurity? Is that based on truth? It's that kind of energy. So we'll, we'll know more as we clarify it. All right, in the challenge position, we have the lovers here. Could be a romantic partner that may just be posing a challenge for you this week. It could just be as simple as that, Gemini. But really the lovers, your own energy here, absolutely. But it's fundamentally a card about choice, an important choice, and one that puts you in a new path. Where's your mind at? Where is it focused? I don't know. Right now it's got your mind super active. You might be wanting to take fast action here. In your approach, we have that seven of wands. So we see you, I don't know if you're defending your honor, you're taking a stand here. You're standing up for something here. And it's against other people's opinions, other people's values, you know, there's something along those lines. In the environment here, we have that six of wands. So there's something that was overcome here in the environment that it's feeling like. And then coming towards you again, more wands energy. There's so much fashion, fashion. There's so much fire, so much passion, <laughs> fashion. Um, Maybe that's what fashion's made of, passion and fire. Um, but yeah, the Eight of Wands, this is a lot of messages, a lot of communication coming your way. If it's not actual like text messages, emails, phone calls, then it's definitely you having a lot of insights. Let's, let's go ahead and see what the situation is with the moon. Because the moon is like, what can I say? Things are not as they appear. It can be a dark night of the soul. It's, you know, the moon doesn't light up a lot of our paths, so that's why you can't trust the energy. But you have to, you have to embrace it. You can't fight the moon energy. It's here to teach us that, right? that sometimes our own worst enemies are made up illusions in our own mind. It's kind of the lesson of the moon. That's why right after that, the sun comes out and you're like, you, see, you look around and you're like, what was I scared of? What am I saying? Now that the sun is out and it's showing the whole path, right? And you're able to see much more. All right, sorry, Gemini. Let's clarify the moon for your situation this week. What's happening with this moon? What's, what's this card here? Oh, one moment, Gemini. Hmm. A five of swords was turned over. Not going to take it, but if it wants to come out, I believe it will come out. All right. A few more shuffles. Let's find out what this moon is about. You know, I'll say this. If you have a really important choice to make with that lover's energy in the challenge position, I can see it. Because truly, if, if the moon is the dominant energy this week, it's not the greatest energy, honestly, to make a big decision with. Because you really don't know what to trust when this energy emerges. So um, I think that's good, actually, that you're like having trouble making a decision because you're navigating that energy, Gemini. All right, tell us more about the moon. Two more shuffles. Last one. So clarifying the moon, we get the king of swords and the seven of wands again. You know, all right, Gemini, let me just say, some of you, I don't know if you're now in an enviable position. And maybe it's haters, I'll be honest. I don't like to say that often, but you know, the Seven of Wands does come after the Six of Wands. 
right? And the Six of Wands talks about being recognized publicly, actually, you know, for your success, for overcoming something. And that's why you're now in a higher ground where now you're kind of got haters. That's why they're lower. Some of you, I have to say it for some of you, but others of you, again, um, truly, I just see you trying to, yeah, you're not 100% sure right now with where you stand. That's why you're having trouble making a decision, Gemini, plain and simple. You're not 100% right now because right now we got the moon energy here. This is the energy of Pisces, of Neptune, right? Illusions and fantasies. Some of it is rooted in reality. Of Others of it is not true. It can be secret desires that you didn't know coming to the surface. Hopes, wishes, insecurities, right? That's why you don't know where you stand because it's fair, Gemini. You're dealing with that moon energy right now. You're facing your own darkness right now in some ways but you're still navigating it. That's why you're like, you're taking a stand. You kind of know where you stand. Um, you're defending yourself. You're standing up for something. Absolutely. You're using your mind. You're cutting shit out that you don't need for some of you. Absolutely. You're just not 100% yet because you're still navigating that moon energy. You're doing the best you can. Really, Gemini, you're doing the best you can. Let's go ahead and clarify the lovers here. I don't even know you personally. Of course, I'm reading for a collective, but I know that moon energy... Um, it's a tricky energy to navigate. And so you're, you're trying to be as sharp, as logical, as rational as possible. But you're still like, you know, might having to be defend yourself for some reason, defending where you stand, what you believe in, something along those lines. Um, you know, take what resonates. But let's go ahead and clarify the lovers here. What's this lovers about in your challenge position, Gemini? Maybe it's a choice with a partner, right? All right, well, you know. You ask for two cards and two cards come out, so I take it. Ah, uh, we have the Magician and the Three of Cups here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I feel like some of you, there's a choice here to reunite, maybe with that Three of Cups. And you're wanting to create something here. It's like, you're trying to figure out how you can manifest something here. I don't know if you're trying to manifest the lovers here. I don't know if you're trying to manifest a reunion with the lovers. I'll be honest, guys. But there is something here that's in a challenge position. Maybe with the magician. You know, because the magician is really a powerful card. It's about co-creation. It's, you know, it's got all this yellow to represent the yellow chakra here, the solar plexus chakra. It's a card about co-creating. And what the magician teaches us is that we have everything we need to create everything we want. It being in a challenge position, maybe you're just not having... It's, it's hard to see it right now because of that moon. What can I say? It's the central energy, Gemini. But I feel like you're totally wanting to create and manifest some reunion with a lover here. If it's not a lover, it is soulmate type of energy. This is soul tribe energy. Very supportive energy. But it looks to me like you're totally trying to manifest some reunion here with a soulmate energy. Doesn't have to be romantic, but it definitely can be romantic. On your mind, we got the Knight of Wands. This is you wanting to take fast action. Maybe, you know, act first, think later type of energy. Um, all right, I'm not taking it. The Seven of Cups, I mean, Cups, the Seven of Pentacles did want to come out, but let me first of all call me Frizz down. Sorry, Gemini. Um, I just, I see it and, ah, all right. Let me clarify the Knight of Wands here. What's this Knight of Wands about? I feel like I should start using like hair products, you know. All I use at this point is prayers um, and a flat iron. All right. Clarifying the Knight of Wands, where your mind is at. It's impulsive, it's feeling a little bit this week. It's adventurous a little bit. Um, all right, two more shuffles, Gemini. What's this Knight of Wands about for Gemini? It's where your focus is, where your mind's at. All right, clarifying the Knight of Wands for you, Gemini. Let me see, we get the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, I'm telling you, man, they're so weird, there's this, you, you got love on your mind, you got a reunion on your mind, you know, there's strength here, so you're needing to tap into that inner strength, but there is something, like, you're wanting to send a message, Gemini, and it's got to do with your heart, it's a message from your heart to someone, that's where your mind's at. Should I send it today? Should I send it? How should I send it? What should I say? It's that kind of energy because you're excited. You got this cup of love here that you're looking to. Again, I'm feeling a reunion, a rekindling here. I'm trying to be like, it's trying to be like, you know what? I know how to love you now. I'm ready to love you now. Or I'm ready to open my heart to you now. It's that kind of energy. It's open. It's playful. It's trusting. Very beautiful. Your mind is focused on, I feel like sending a love sweet message, you guys. All right, in your approach, we still have you kind of standing your ground. 
maybe feeling defensive. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and clarify the seven of wands. It did fall twice. So it does feel like, you know, it's like you maybe might feel like occasionally like you're standing alone, having to do some stuff alone. Some of you, some of you. All right. The seven of cups is here. I said it and then like, pff, it appears and the tower is here. All right, there's confusion here. There's confusion about where you stand, but in your approach, that's already the situation to be fair, Gemini, this week. Um, it's only seven days in the week, but in your approach, any confusion about where you stood, there's a tower falling over it. You're gonna have an aha moment. There's gonna be some clarity that comes through. I think you're gonna think that maybe what you believed for some of you wasn't true or isn't true anymore. Because the tower fundamentally is about divine intervention. It's about something being struck down to make space. But the tower itself is fine. It's what it was built on that was weak, right? That's why I say sometimes we realize that what we believed was untrue and that's where that tower comes down. Because all of a sudden you're like, that's not true and it has to come crumbling. So wherever you're standing, if you're unsure, I feel like that certainty will be coming through. Something's gonna shake you up personally that's gonna be like, oh my God, never mind. I know exactly where I stand. Yeah. All right, in, in your environment, we have that success card. I feel like there's people around you that are recognizing that you've overcome something recently, Gemini. You know, um, there's two wreaths of victory on this card. One on the character's head, one on the lawn there. Literal people around admiring this person, so they're just feeling proud of yourself, Gemini. Feeling confident, really good. Well-deserved recognition as well, well-deserved. All right, because this is also a card about overcoming some trouble that you were dealing with and people can see that you did it. And that's why they're like, damn, good job, Gemini. It's that kind of energy. But then, you know, after damn, good job, it's like, damn, it can be a hater, right? That's why I always say, don't let people's praises or put downs really get to us too much. One day it's a praise, the next day it's a put down. All right. I've done it myself with celebrities. Like, even as I know that, it's so interesting, right? So, so I'm like, try to not let anything go too much to your heart or too much to your head, always. All right, let's clarify the Six of Wands in your environment. Two more shuffles for Gemini. If you hear a noise, they are doing some construction outside of my apartment. So you might hear it. Actually, I am changing studios. Look out for a sneak peek. Um, I did do some upgrading. Because as I was looking at my videos, I felt like, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like I'm recording from the closet. And so I decided to um, make some space. It was like a little project, but I'm pretty excited to show you guys. All right, if you're subscribed, you'll see it in the community post. All right, clarifying the Six of Wands, two more in your environment. All right, Gemini, clarifying the Six of Wands, we get the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Ah. Yeah, there was a situation here that I feel like you invested a lot in. I'm not going to lie. And then some of you just had to cut it out with that Queen of Swords. And that's how you overcame it. Something here that like you put a lot of work into, man. Um, you put a lot of work into for some of you. Because that Seven of Pentacles does not look for quick results. Definitely not. This is a very invested energy. It's just that after so much time, you expect something to come back to you, right? It's that kind of energy. And when it does, then you do have to take a hard look at something and be like, is it worth me putting any more energy into? And that's what's happened here. And I feel like something in your environment, for some of you, you had to cut it out. And that's how you overcame it. Because it can take mental strength, even heart, to kind of cut something out, right? Because we're attached to them in some way. So it takes really some resiliency. Others of you, there could have been an air sign that you were with as well. Another Gemini, an Aquarius, a Leaper here. That you were not seeing results and now you started seeing results with. And that's, you're feeling really good about it. So always take what resonates. Coming towards you, we have the Eight of Wands. That's fat. This is, look, if you're looking to make progress in this situation, the Eight of Wands is a sign that it's like strike while the iron is hot because it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Meaning you can make way more um, progress when the energy of the Eight of Wands is here. It's like if you took a step now, it would equal more like 10 steps. It's that kind of, you can make leaps and bounds. All right, let's clarify the Eight of Wands coming towards you when it comes to the situation, but there's progress coming. You're going from the six to the seven to the eight. Let's see, what's this Eight of Wands about coming towards Gemini? Messages, lots of messages, lots of fired up, excited messages, progress. The six and the cherry, okay. 
the six, which six? Six of swords and the chariot is here. You're going to make a decision. You're going to know where you stand, Gemini. By the end of this week, you know, time is fluid. So obviously I don't want to say by Saturday, by Sunday. But whoever this is resonating with up until now, let me tell you, coming towards you, you're going to get some messages here. You're moving. There's transition here, period. You're transitioning from one place to another. But if you were having trouble with the lovers of making a decision, some communication, I don't know if it's insights. I don't know if you get messages. Whatever it is, something gets you going and you choose a path and now you're focused. You're determined. You chose your path by the end of this week. You followed your heart and now that's it. You just got your mind on victory at this point. Success and victory and that's where you're headed. Could be a cancer coming up to you, but I definitely feel like with the lovers being here, I think you make that choice and now you're in that chariot. Once you step into that new path, you're like, I'm going to follow my heart. Nothing's going to stop me. That's your energy, Gemini, and it's coming towards you by the end of this week. All right, I'll leave it there for you. Of course, if anything resonates, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you always for letting me tune into your energies, Gemini, and I'll see you all next week.